Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 29th. The 29th, I think. I think, I'm not sure. Anyhow, the timing is fluid, so the date really doesn't matter, and this reading may or may not be for you. So let's just see what comes up. The Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So this was the deck, I don't know if you guys saw it, that fell on the floor. I think it was yesterday. I just picked it up off the floor. I didn't look at it. I just set it on the table because um, I figured this must be the deck that I need to use. So the Two of Cups is a union. It is a partnership, focusing on a partnership. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It's an investment. Investing in a partnership. Could be a new partnership because aces are new beginnings okay communicating investing talking what do we have for a message today Queen of Swords reversed. First card out. Wheel of Fortune. There's definitely going to be a change. Okay, the Queen of Swords in reverse is some sort of bitterness, a miscommunication, no communication, harsh communication. But there's going to be a positive change. If there's been some sort of miscommunication or something like that, things are going to get better. Seven of Cups reverse, that is clarity, receiving some clarity, seeing clearly, becoming clear of a choice. The star, a blessing. Okay, we have a blessing here. This is this is somebody that is being blessed. It's like they're getting what they asked for. Somebody may find themselves at the right place at the right time. Oh my goodness, this just fell out. Ace of Cups, new start in love. Things getting better. Expression of feelings. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is going in a new direction, right? It's the end of a cycle. I mean, the Queen of Swords in reverse could be somebody that is opening their heart. This is somebody that was in a negative mindset, you know. They may have been angry, they may have been res resentful or revengeful or bitter or whatever. But I feel like there's a there could be a change of heart because the Wheel of Fortune and then underneath it is the Ace of Cups. Wheel of Fortune is a positive change. Ace of Cups is heart. So somebody may have a change of heart. They may be opening their heart. Seven of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is abundant, that is enjoying, enjoying their life, you know, knows their value, knows their worth, has been focusing on themselves, is focusing on themselves, very confident, hardworking, successful. Could be an entrepreneur here or a business owner. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody that, you know, is enjoying their life, very self-sufficient, independent, independently owned and operated. Behind that is the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Wands. So the Ace of Cups is a new start in love. So I'm not sure if we have somebody here that is very independent, that is getting an offer. There is also self-love here. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of self, the self-love. Seven of Wands reversed is uh, putting up a fight in a tough position. We have somebody here that, well, there's some sort of challenge here. It could be, there is some sort of challenge. But we have, it, it feels to me like this person is accepting a challenge. We may have somebody here that is, okay, we have some, this is, a, this is like a, a fighter, right? We have a fighter here. That is putting up a fight underneath it like this well like this we had the nine <coughs> so I'm not sure if we have somebody here that is gonna be fighting okay they're gonna be putting up a fight 
you know um, the nine of uh, the nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very valuable very has a lot to offer has worked hard for success behind that is a fighter we have a fighters maybe somebody is fighting for their success you know the seven the seven of oh, we, we could also have somebody here that is very independent that is in a tough position that is unwilling to give up their position you know somebody is is fighting uh giving up their independence you know but i do feel like we have an individual that's going to be caught off guard Right around the corner is the star card, which is wish fulfillment. It is uh, happiness, being blessed, get, you know, getting what you asked for. Somebody's about to get something that they asked for, that they prayed for. This is what you asked for. This is what you prayed for, you know. Seeing, coming out of confusion, seeing very clearly Somebody may need to protect themselves as well, or maybe they have been protecting themselves. Maybe that's, I mean, the Queen of Swords is somebody that, and it's in the past. The Queen of Swords in reverse is in the past. It's in the past position. So that is somebody that may have been bitter in the past, or they were guarding themselves, choosing to be alone, choosing to be single because of their previous pain. I mean, the Queen of Swords is somebody that has been hurt, in reverse has been hurt very very badly but i feel like we have a change here i feel like this is like a shift it's like a shift from uh it's almost like i want to say barrenness you know because of the nine of pentacles here it's like i see very clearly there's an option here this is a good option with the seven of cups reverse it's it's becoming clear it's coming out of confusion seeing very clearly what the best choice is um moving in a new direction with a wheel of fortune it is uh, a positive change of heart now that star card is some sort of guidance as well so somebody may be guided to fight for something there's also self-love here however that resonates with you we definitely have an individual that has obtained success through hard work because before the nine of pentacles is the eight of pentacles which is hard work you know this is a successful person definitely could be an entrepreneur or a business owner or somebody that has worked hard for their success this person is receiving i don't know if it's a it's a new offer you know because the ace of cups are new beginnings it's a it's love it's something they're gonna love they're gonna receive something that they're gonna love that they asked for okay because it's 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 like whoever is giving them this offer sees them as the best option now this could be a job offer it could be it could be a job offer because the seven of wands is about position so it's something about position There could also be a change in position, okay? Somebody may be changing their position, you know, and opening their heart and fighting for, for something that they see as very abundant. Anyway, the star card is, is a blessing. It's, it's wish fulfillment. So there is wish fulfillment. Somebody's wish is about to be granted. Something they've been praying for. <laughs> Maybe they've been praying for somebody to protect them. I mean, the Seven of Wands is a warrior. This is somebody that is battle ready, that is that is a fighter. So, that, you know, this could be even be somebody that is like a soldier, right? Or somebody that could even be somebody that is in the military. This person is warding off somebody or warding off the competition. It's very competitive. It feels like we have an individual who... Um, is putting up a fight. It's like fighting for love, fighting for something. The Empress reversed. 
So the Empress reversed is a feminine that doesn't know her value, doesn't know her worth, that may be in some sort of pain. Maybe this person has been neglected. There's no love. There's no unconditional love. I mean, the Empress reversed is somebody that Well, there could be a fight. I mean, the Empress reversed and next to the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a battle. But the Empress reversed is uh, no growth, no nurturing, a lack of nurturing, a lack of growth, a lack of love, a lack of fertility. <clears throat> totally opposite of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, upright. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody that has worked hard for success and is enjoying their life. But the Empress reversed is, you know, it's a termination or it's a loss or it's pain. We got somebody here that hasn't received their blessing yet. The Empress hasn't given birth yet. She has not received her blessing yet. What is this Empress reversed? <clears throat> six of Cups reversed. Now, Six of Cups reversed is packing up and leaving. We may have somebody here that has made a decision with the Seven of Cups reversed. That's a decision that has been made. They may be packing up and leaving. The Six of Cups reverse is like, it is. It's like leaving. It's like freedom from obligation. Now, the Empress is like a mother, but the Empress in reversed is, you know, and the Star card is protection, and so isn't the Seven of Wands. So I'm not sure if somebody is being relieved of their obligations. You know, it may have something to do with a mother. Okay, may have a mother. I mean, I hate to say that. Okay, or we may it may be a wife. It could be a partner that doesn't take care of her husband, or she doesn't take care of her children. You know, she doesn't take care of her partner. I mean, the Empress Reverse is somebody that isn't very caring, isn't very loving, that isn't very nurturing, and the six and the, the, something to do with children, something to do with family. There could definitely be a fight that causes somebody to see very, very clearly. You know, maybe they choose to be independent. There could be a fight that causes somebody to choose to be independent, okay? Just being honest. Um, the Ace of Cups is a new start. There is some sort of self-love here, though. Change in direction with the Wheel of Fortune. This is good luck. Destined. Destined change of course. There could definitely be a fight here. Definitely. Empress is loss. It is a, the Empress in reverse is a loss. With the Six of Cups reverse, it's like, I don't know if there could even be some child abuse here. I don't know if there is, but there could be. We could have somebody here that doesn't like their partner's children. That could cause a fight. Nothing stays the same with the Six of Cups reverse. Nothing stays the same. Somebody has been clinging to the past, to the memories, but there's it feels like there's no love there where they've been. They've been reluctant to let go of the past and they've been suffering in a lot of pain. In a lot of pain. Somebody is making a choice. It feels like they're making a choice to bring healing because the star card is healing. They're being guided. They're being guided to uh, maybe protect themselves. I mean, the seven of wands is protection. The star is protection. The nine of pentacles is self. But it feels like there's also a fighter here that is a protector that is stepping in. It feels like this person is stepping up to the plate. They're stepping up to the position. They're taking their position. They're taking their, somebody's taking their position.
six of swords reversed underneath that empress reversed reluctant to move on refusing to take approach we have a a feminine okay this is i'm, I'm telling you what it's a feminine energy that is refusing to take a new approach. This person is mean-spirited. They are self-absorbed. They are bitter. They are revengeful. They may be stuck in the past. We definitely have somebody here that is stuck in the past. Six of Swords reversed with the Six of Cups reversed. Okay? That's stuck in the past. They are. They're stuck. They're stuck. They're not allowing growth. Okay? The, the Empress reverse is no growth. They're not... They're not giving birth to their new life. Okay, they're fighting it. They're fighting their their uh, own abundance, right? Because the Nine of Pentacles is abundance and the Empress upright is abundance. Somebody is in a lot of pain and they're just it's like they're 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 are refusing to budge. Same with the seven of wands. We got somebody here that is totally refusing to budge, clinging to the past. Fighting, 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 resisting. But that star card is a blessing. Uh, this being, this, 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 the Nine of Pentacles is self sufficient, enjoying life. The star card is a blessing. There's some sort of protection here. There could be some protection that is coming in. This is somebody that is noble. That may be looking for love. So there could be a change of heart. So I, I do feel like we have a feminine here who has been reluctant to let go of the past. But this is like a healing energy. Now there, there's a reason. This is the reason. They're bringing something bright. They're bringing something in and it comes from self-love so interesting <clears throat> two sixes reversed i mean that's not going in the right direction right next to the empress reversed we, we have somebody here that has seriously been stuck in the past it's like it's overdue. They're, it's overdue, okay? The Empress Reverse, it's overdue. It's time. It's time. It's time to release the pain. It's time. They're, it's time to release this pain? I feel like there's some unexpected help that is arriving. Because that's the star, because the star comes after the tower. The tower is the disruption, right? That has happened. The breakdown, the reveal, whatever, the catastrophe, the disaster, okay? That has already happened. Now there's some sort of unexpected help arriving with that star card. And underneath it is a seven of wands. That's a fighter. That is, a, that is somebody that is taking the position page of cups page of cups is a welcome message of love it's welcome news somebody and it's right next to the nine of pentacles so we, the nine of pentacles very independent energy this is somebody that's been focusing on themselves, probably healing from some serious pain because of their past. This person has been healing. They've been bitter. They've been lonely. They've been choosing to be single, focusing on themselves, focusing on healing their heart. This is a change. It is a positive change. It definitely is. Page of Cups is a welcome message of love, flirting. There could be an admirer here that is about to step up. They're about to step up.
Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Maybe we may have somebody here that's about to express some feelings. They maybe maybe they were reluctant to do so because of their past. Maybe they were with a bitch from their past that didn't take care of them. That didn't nurture them. That didn't love them. That abused them. That cheated on them. That wasn't an empress. But I do think we have somebody here that's getting some sort of revelation. The star is bright. It's, it is. And then the Seven of Cups reverse is seeing very clearly. Seeing very clearly that this is a beautiful option. This, when you look at a star, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right? Somebody may be seeing something after they were neglected. And, and, and I don't know if we have a child here that has been neglected. Maybe somebody was neglected from their mother when they were a child. And that's where the bitterness came from, from the very beginning, right? And there's abandonment here, right? I mean, the Queen of Swords doesn't become a bitch just for no reason. Neither does the Empress. I mean, so anyhow... I, always, I feel like we do have somebody here, a, a masculine as well, that has been reluctant to move on and reluctant to engage and reluctant to step up to the plate with somebody that is very secure and solid and stable. Because we have a Nine of Pentacles here. This is somebody who knows their value, that knows their worth, that is strong. This is somebody who has built up their success independently and isn't going to engage with anybody that is going to mistreat them because they've already been hurt so badly in the past but anyhow and i feel like this masculine has been held back by this bitch from his past this would probably stopped him from making a move but this is like the seven of wands is, is a fighter it's like you know what i'm gonna take the position i'm ready to fight i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready that is i'm ready to fight i'm ready to fight i'm ready to uh take my take me down if you have to good luck trying anyhow <laughs> i don't know where that came from anyhow um that's what i just saw Page of Cups, a welcome message, expressing feelings, flirting, opening up, communication. I do feel like there's some sort of communication that is coming. Oh, the world. The world is a major accomplishment. It is the end, right? It's a big ending. Somebody has learned a lesson. They have, and I feel like they have chosen because the Seven of Cups is a chosen. I've made a choice that that cycle is over. And the Wheel of Fortune is the end of a cycle as well. So there is definitely a change here. There could even be a change of residence. This is very, very, very positive. This is freedom. It is a... a Completing one cycle and beginning a new one. Saying goodbye to the past. Totally saying goodbye to the past. Stepping into a new world. Stepping into a new, a new uh, existence. It's like, I mean, the world card is a lesson that has been learned. It's like, I've learned my lesson. I am not going back. And somebody has been really focusing on the past, but it feels like this is just a very, it's a, it feels like it's a pivotal moment where it's the, some clarity comes because of the Seven of Cups reversed. That's seeing very, very clearly. And I feel like this person was struggling. They were, you know, because the Seven of Wands right next to it, that's a, that is definitely a struggle. They, but there's been opposition, right, because of the past. They were confused, you know, and they had a lot of options and they weren't sure what to choose. But this is like, there's an opportunity for love here with the Ace of Cups. There is, and this is what you asked for. And I feel like this is like, uh, it's like a, it's like an, it's like a light bulb moment almost. I mean, going after wish fulfillment, being blessed, seeing clearly that this is the best option. I mean, I can't, it is what it is. I feel like we have somebody here that has been reflecting, they've been thinking, they've been planning their next move. Okay. 
This is somebody that has gained wisdom through some sort of experience. They had to take a time out probably to heal and go within. And I do see healing energy here. I do see. I think this is long overdue. I do. So we do have a new beginning here. We have a, we do definitely have an independent person that is just enjoying their life, maybe focusing on their business, you know, focusing on whatever they're doing and they're getting some something that is unexpected and they're going to love it. They're going to love it. They're getting an unexpected offer or opportunity that they are going to love. Somebody is looking at them and they see them as the best option. And I don't know if this is a job offer or a relationship offer or what. It's the end. It's, I feel like it's the end. For, and I hate, I mean, the end of bitterness. This is a very healing. This is like your wish. You, you've you been begging. So somebody that is, is has been begging. They've been, it feels like they've been begging. You know? It's like they've been, they've been begging and praying for something. You know, they've been praying for, I don't know what. Somebody to protect them. That seven of wands is a protector. It is. One more card. Oh. Happily ever after. This is a blessing. This is a happy relationship, a happy couple. Fulfillment, permanent love. The storm is over. And in the Nine of Pentacles, the storm is over as well. So this is happiness. If somebody has been fighting, you know, they've been fighting with somebody, I mean, they've been no communication or there's been miscommunication or somebody's been fighting their own happiness, I do see happiness in the future, seriously. It's like I put it right next to the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is from independence to happiness. Somebody may be even getting a proposal that they don't expect. The star card is unexpected. It really is. There's also unexpected help that is arriving. We have somebody here that is coming in. This person is a fighter. They are a protector. This person doesn't. You can't take this person down. This person has no fear. They plan on winning. Whatever competition it is that they are getting themselves involved in. Expression of feelings, flirting, something like that. The end, leaving it all behind, leaving the trouble behind. Things getting better. Expression of feelings, expressions of love. 